Hi, I'm Russ Brialt with Shroud Encounter, and um, you know, the Shroud of Turin has been in the news a lot lately, and it's, um, and we've, um, some of the previous videos we've done, we've covered a lot of the things that, that have been talked about. Most importantly, uh, was some new dating technology that was used called wide-angle x-ray scattering, which measures the amount of natural aging in fibers, and um, they determined that the, uh, that a that the shroud had far more aging in the fibers for it for it to only be 700 years old as the carbon dating lab said a few many many years ago in fact the uh, the the cloth that best correlates with the amount of aging seen in fibers from the shroud is a is a cloth found in in Masada Israel that we know dates to first century and so it's pretty certain that the shroud is far older older than 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 what uh, many people have thought it to, to, to be so we're that was a that was a big piece of news earlier this year and it's um but you know um i've um i re i wrote a book this year and came out in june it's called shroud encounter explore the world's greatest unsolved mystery and um it's been doing very well on Amazon and got lots of great reviews and and it's um, and and if you're looking for something for Christmas, it'd be a great item. It's uh, it's uh, less than twenty bucks, so it's a good price point. Um, at any rate, um, in doing the research for the book, I came across a study that was done actually a few years ago in 2005 uh, by two researchers in Italy, uh, Aldo Goreshi and Michelle. Salcido. And um, what they what they were trying to do, you know, let me just explain that the that the shroud was in a fire in 1532. It was it was in Chambéry, France. It was kept in a it was kept in a chapel, and the chapel caught fire. And the and the and the top of the box that was in was ornate was overlaid with silver. So you had a big glob of molten silver fit, fall down onto the cloth, and. So the way that the cloth was folded, I have a, this is a, this is a, 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 a linen cloth. It's 14 feet long, about four feet wide, same as the shroud. Uh, but in, in, in Chambéry, France, it was folded this way to where it's not folded completely on, on over itself. Uh, and because it's probably a, a, a larger box than, than the, uh, than what this uh, cloth is folded at. And so you had you had 32 layers here and 16 layers here. And so when the silver melted, it fell down on, onto this corner here, making a series of 16 burns because there were 16 layers. And so these uh, researchers were, were trying to determine just exactly how the shroud was folded when it was in the fire. And that's, that's what they determined. Now... It's curiously though you have a we, we, you have a whole pattern of water stains all over the cloth and uh, but it's in a very unique pattern and we always assumed that those water stains were the result of when the fire was put out but lo and behold once they figured out the folding pattern for the fire to account to to line up all of the burns they realized that the that the water stains didn't line up and so that proved then that the that the that this whole pattern of water stains is 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 from a different incident from and so now these researchers went about to try to recreate the folding pattern uh, to account for the water stains and when they did that they realized that the that in, in order to replicate the water stains the cloth had to be folded this way in 52 layers it looks like this um you know it's um and it's um and so what they did now in this um but however in, in order to replicate the water stains it couldn't have been resting level it had to be vertical and so they were looking around for a suitable container and they just and they were and they were uh, looking at the Israel at the Israel Antiquities Authority and discovered a clay pot that had the right size and dimensions that would hold this cloth so what i have here 
I have a, not a clay pot. It's a uh, what's a white plastic trash can, but comparable to the size of the clay pot. The clay pot might have been a little bit bigger than this, and with a with a with a clay cover on it as well. But if you can imagine taking the cloth and kind of rolling it like this this way, and then placing it in the clay pot like that, and then would have put a cover over it, and it was probably stored like this for. Who knows how long? And and maybe when they were transporting the shroud from from Jerusalem to Edessa or maybe Antioch, it depends on which historical trail you, you, you want to follow. I'm personally in for Edessa. And um, and so maybe on a, on its way to ancient Edessa, uh so got a caught in a rainstorm and some water got in here and and the and for some reason the, the jar probably jostled around on the back of a wagon and end up at tilted at a at a at an angle. And some water got into the bottom here and was there for, I don't know how long, but when they finally took the cloth out and, and opened it up, they realized they have, this, they, they, they have this very unique pattern of water stains all over the cloth. Now, what's interesting is that chemically, the, the shroud is, 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 has lots of calcium all over the cloth, but in particular... The largest concentration of calcium can be found in the in the margins of the water stains. And what's the primary ingredient of a clay pot? Calcium. And so this is just a fabulous clue that indicates how the shroud, you know, may have been stored in the early centuries. It correlates with a with a Middle Eastern origin. Storing storing valuables in a clay pot, like we see here, would be uniquely Middle Eastern. And so, not only does it tell us the the place of origin, but even even the even the time, because this was this was certainly used circa first century. And it's exactly how we see how how the how the Dead Sea scrolls were found and we we know that those all date from first century so what a fabulous piece of data and just again correlating uh with the uh with, with, with both the age and the origin of 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 the cloth being authentic and once again i'll plug my book you can find you can read all about this water stain pattern in chapter 14 and called confirming the historical trail shroud encounter explore the world's greatest unsolved mystery buy it as a christmas present who doesn't love a good mystery thanks again for tuning in